This video is about the regulation of gene expression. First of all, we need to consider, well, what is gene expression? It's the information that's stored in a gene and how that's synthesized into gene products, usually proteins. So it's the end product of the data and the information that's inside the gene. Now, in a, a multicellular organism, every cell has got the same DNA. But of course, different cells have different structures and functions. So we need to have a way in which the, only, uh, the, the different genes contained within that DNA in every cell can be turned on and turned off, depending on what proteins need to be made. And that is the process of uh, regulation of gene expression. And there's a number of processes that occur. The first one is within transcription. So in transcription, for transcription to actually occur in the first place, we need to have these activators, usually hormones, that bind onto different parts. And then what tends to happen is we have these sections here called enhancers and promoters, and, and they need to actually fold over and bind together. And that's the, the trigger to start the transcription process. So it's controlled by enzymes. The next part of the process is that we need to modify the mRNA post-transcription. So this is called post-transcription modification. So if you imagine this is a piece of RNA and it contains these things called exons. Now exons are the uh, parts of the mRNA that actually has nucleotides that code for the protein. And the intron are additional nu nucleotides that don't actually code for the protein. Post-transcription modification. Firstly, the introns are removed and it's spliced together so that the parts of the mRNA that don't actually code for the protein, they're removed and it's spliced together. Then an AUG cap is put on the front and a long tail of the A nucleotides is placed on the, the tail. And that makes it uh, nice and stable. It then is able to go to the ribosome for translation. So again, this is another process that's involved in the regulation. And interestingly, we think that possibly what parts of the introns are removed and, and not maybe dictates what protein is actually uh, expressed because when they started doing the genome project they expected because of all the different types of proteins produced by a eukaryote they were expecting that there would be a much larger number of genes than there were so a single gene might actually code for a number of different proteins and it's possibly this post transcription uh, modification that dictates what protein is actually uh, uh, synthesized. Okay, so the process of uh, regulation is really quite complex and these are just two steps in it. Essentially with promoters, repressors, activators, enhancers, all of these that, that ultimately go into uh, dictating what genes are expressed to produce the proteins.